all right ladies and gentlemen we are back again with another video we've got the youngest champion duo 13 and 15 years old and we're gonna see if they can carry two coppers versus five emeralds make sure you guys follow them with their socials linked down below in the description but let's hop straight into round number one all right round number one here we're gonna have soapy trying to push in through garage door now he's gonna drone out the thunderbird who's gonna be holding that down or Actually, that was actually a Mozzie who's going to be holding down rafters right now. But Adept, our other champ, going to be downstairs inside a bar. There is actually a barricade on this door. So that's going to alert Pawn to exactly where Adept is. As soon as he breaks this, Pawn now can hear that and knows that Adept is pushing through there. All right. On the rappel, Rihi going to be opening up the bottom of the breach this is one of our copper players as well as uh Pumzi here so the two hard breach players are the two coppers but adept one of our champs picking up the first kill of the game on to rise no more cade for the emerald players but the grenade from below is going to miss and oh no Pumzi tries to prone on the maverick holes and zed will take him out from the garage rafters adept is going to be quickly rushing up the red stairs right now along with soapy right now the youngest champ duo pushing together up the red stairs soapy grabs the first kill oh no soapy's gonna go down though as jack from the rafters window is able to take him out so that's gonna leave adept by himself on the top of these stairs but rihi one of the coppers is rotating up to try to help three emerald players left but jack is actually fairly lit we're going to see Warden inside of Cash trying to watch this rotate right now as Rihi might be trying to push through it. But the swing from the Maverick or from the Warden player comes out and Meme Wizard will take that kill. Adept now in a 1v3. Jack is fairly lit and two players are by rafters. Zed going to actually jump through now and for some reason just walk straight into the line of sight of Adept making this an easy 1v2. Meme Wizard trying to play beyond the cash table going to swing through the wall he will get the wall bang kill onto adept and the emeralds will win round number one but honestly it was pretty close all things considered all right zed actually was able to do a little bit of damage onto rihi as he tries to push out a spawn bringing him to close to about 50 hp but adept is already in the building and the emeralds left the blue hatch soft so he's going to be able to get that open and he walks in and gets a nice flick onto zed and oh my god a great 2k coming out from adept soapy pushing inside of garage trying to help adept at the moment they're going to be rotating down the blue stairs rise is still above in kitchen so they're gonna to have to be careful of a flank from rise but mean wizard is inside of moto right now and they might even be able to wall bang him Taking a look at Jack, he is all the way in the back of Arsenal right now as the Frost. A Frost mat actually in his pocket still. Looks like he didn't have enough time to place the third one. But Soapy and Adept, look at them pushing together. Trying to take blue right now. Coordinating where the coppers should be pushing. Telling them that they, should, they need to go and push in through dirt. That's going to allow them to pinch Arsenal right now. And you can see that Soapy is pushing up on this door at the same time that Rihi is. And they're going to try to make a move into the site. Soapy walks in first. Rihi is trying to do his best to come in as well. But all of the Emerald players now are trying to stop the walk-in. The Frost will get taken out as Soapy grabs two kills. Jack and Rise go down. And Soapy with all three of flawless rounds from our two champs and two coppers. Honestly from Adept and Soapy there as they picked up all the kills. So far in the video, I would say that Adept and Soapy are definitely carrying our two copper players. Looking at the scoreboard, they have zero kills for Soapy and Adept, four and four each, playing so perfectly together so far. The game's all tied up one-to-one. -one. Let's see what's gonna happen in round number three. Oh no, Zed's gonna grab the first kill this round. Spawn peeking Rihi, one of the coppers going down. So Adept and Soapy really going to have to play perfectly this round once again if they're going to want to take this lead here in the first split. What a great spawn peek from Zed. I'm not even really sure where he got that from. I think it was from the blue window. But the Lion player is going to go down now for the blue team as Soapy is going to be droning out blue and into Arsenal. And it looks like 
our two champs might be wanting to do the same sort of push they did last round trying to take from blue side but they're all going to be repelling up i don't know what adept is doing he's trolling trying to get into cctv now and it looks like they might push in through oil pit and new blue stairs at the moment you can see that adept is pushing into lounge trying to clear all of this and make sure that it's good to go but he won't be able to shotgun open the hatch this round like he was before as the emerald players have reinforced at this time speaking of the emerald players let's take a look at what they're doing you can see that zed is trying to play on top of this t or on top of this desk and he's going to get taken out as soapy walks down the blue stairs and is able to look over that head hole and grab the headshot good shots there from soapy and now these fenrir is going off on the backside, really causing a lot of havoc for our blue team here looks like Mav might be trying to get an angle through the blue hatch onto the blue blue player right now, but he's not able to quite get the angle. Adept pushing on the bottom of blue st uh, main stairs now, able to do a little bit of damage onto the players inside of sight, but he's going to be put onto about half HP. The triple wall to church is soft, so he could potentially walk in if it, if they can open that up somehow. He does have the shotgun. He could try to shotgun it open. Wall bangs go out, but it's going to miss, and the Malusi swings close, but, well, not able to take him just out just yet, and Adept on the bottom of the stairs, able to finally get that wall bang onto the player inside a church. Copper player going to grab the first kill for the coppers of this game. Jack goes down, and now Soapy looking to grab another kill as well as he lights up Warden to about 1 HP. Pond rotating in, out of dirt. Trying to peek the site. He's going to grab one kill. Adept to refrags, but Soapy will grab the last kill of round number three. And the champs will take it in a 2-1 split. Adept going to shotgun open the garage wall, trying to get an angle onto the CC bow, but no one is there just yet. Osa going to place a shield on the CC window, and Soapy's able to C4 that off, and he's going to swing, grab the first kill of round number four, and Adept going to follow that up with another kill to Zed as well. The champs are carrying so hard right now they're doing absolutely perfectly jack repelling trying to rotate off of jacuzzi he's going to be opening up that wall looks like he's going to use it as a distraction to go help push with his team though meme wizard on the maverick will grab one kill from this logi hatch it looks like he might be trying to push in through logi here no one is there to hold it so he does have it if he wants it but oh no soapy's gonna swing and he'll get taken out one of the first times that the champs have been taken out. Soapy goes down and Adept all on his own with Rihi, the smoke player, throwing his smokes out on the con window, trying to delay the push in right now. Adept on the jacuzzi breach, ensuring no one rotates back onto it, but Meme Wizard off screen will take out Rihi, leaving Adept in a 1v3 clutch. All of the Emerald players have full HP now, but Pond is below not with his team whatsoever meme wizard's gonna swing the hallway he'll get taken out but jack's there on the window to immediately refrag and the emerald players will tie things up two to two All right boomzy our copper player here is in quite the predicament at the moment as we're gonna have four emerald players pushing this garage door and poor boomzy is all by himself as a copper against four emeralds trying to hold garage he'll do a little bit of damage onto the maverick player but buck's gonna run in now pushing all the way up and it looks like poomzy was not ready for it whatsoever soapy's gonna disconnect i'm not even sure what happened there but adept will be left alone once again with reheat on 1v5 he picks up one kill onto pond meme wizard's gonna drop through oil pit and try to push in through blue right now he's got a little over 50 hp and the diffuser it looks like he's going to be backtracking now as he does not trust pushing this hallway with that hole open in the wall anymore. Rihi off camera will grab a kill onto Rise, so good effort by him. Adept with a kill onto Meme Wizard, so one or 2v2 now, and the bomb is down inside of Oil Pit. Zed going to rotate to the new blue stairs, but Rihi's here. He might be able to deny that. Zed still trying to push down these blue stairs jack gonna rotate off of oil pit now he does have the diffuser so probably best if they rotate to a different push all right jack's gonna be pushing down the blue stairs 
along with his teammate Zed right now. They're trying to look over through through these head holes, but a Deb's going to be on this table to take him out. Zed goes down and Jack's the final Emerald player left. An adept, he wants to get this match point here. He's going for this final kill. The damage will come out. Jack taking a little bit of damage, but still re remaining with most of his HP. Adept going to run back into church. He's missing most of his HP, so he's honestly got to be careful. I think that Jack could kill him in one shot here. Rehe, though, still pretty good on HP. Going to be holding in the back of Arsenal. With only 30 seconds left. Jack really needs to figure out how he wants to push this right now. No hard breach gadgets for the hatch. So he's going to be forced to push through main stairs, but Adept has already rotated there. And a pre-fire from Adept will miss. It'll put Jack on a low HP, but now it's Jack versus Rehe. Rehe is going to be swinging, and he grabs the shots to finish Jack off. Fortunately, Adept put him onto low HP, as Rehe's crosshair placement here was not optimal. But either way, he's going to clutch that round out for the blue team. Already, ladies and gentlemen, round number Dude, <laughs> wait till the action starts. All right, here we go. A dev gonna be pushing on this jacuzzi breach as Ace opens it up and will actually take him out as well. We had to do a slight disconnect, by the way. And Troll Patrol is the new player for the Emerald team. He's gonna grab that kill onto a dev, but Rihi will actually be the one to refrag, and Soapy's gonna grab one as well, making things an even 3v3. Zed outside of the Jacuzzi Breach with his teammates. They're all here trying to push in through the Breach. Rise is actually above, though. He's going to be on the Lodgy Hatch. It looks like he's going to drop and try to go for this kill onto, I believe that's Soapy inside of Khan right now, but Soapy's going to be the one who grabs that kill. And the last two remaining Emerald players are stuck outside of Jacuzzi Balcony. All right, Zed's going to pick up a kill onto Poomzi. So one less copper player for the blue team. Soapy's going to have to just carry one more copper versus our final two remaining emerald players. Meme is inside of Laji, but oh no, Soapy's there on the rotate to take him out. And that leaves Zed all on his own. Rihi is on the door to clutch up. And ladies and gentlemen, our two youngest champ duo can actually carry two coppers verse five emeralds we're gonna go on to map number two though and see if anything changes on the second map all right the youngest champ duo gonna be pushing in from library right now so we're gonna be droning them in and he's gonna call out to a death that there's people running out of the canine window and that's effectively just free kills right now Soapy's gonna walk in and try to grab that kill that he saw and oh no ella swings from the library hall and we'll grab two kills before adept is able to refrag oh that is very unfortunate two players will fall though as well for the emerald team so it's going to be a 2v3 not all that bad all in all but the clash here is going to be a big problem for adept and rehi and there's also a capkin that they're gonna have to worry about as well Zed is playing castle, but he's got all four of his castles inside of his pocket. I don't know why, but he's either way going to do a fair amount of damage onto Adept, who rotates for that diffuser. And he's going to try to swing this clash, but oh no, it looks like he's lagging and he's going to fall to Zed, who swings and is able to get a double one onto Adept and one onto his teammate. How unfortunate. The last remaining player for the blue team, Rihi, our copper against two emeralds he's gonna grab the first kill now it's all up to jack on the azami he's barricaded himself into the corner of office using azami that's actually really funny let's see how rihi reacts to that rihi going to take a lot of damage from that capkin trap and he's also going to be disoriented from these elements he has no information on where jack is playing at but it won't matter the copper player not checking the door for a Kapka trap just seconds after or before hitting a Kapka trap. That is insane. All right, Soapy is going to be pushing on this library balcony. He's got to be careful, though, as Rise is sitting here on the window with the pole scanner, but Rise actually misses Soapy on the scanner. It was unfortunate timing, but oh, here we go. Finally, Rise is going to notice that Soapy is droning here, and well, Soapy is going to realize that the pulse is looking directly at him as well. And here comes the pre-fire from the window. 
A lot of damage being dealt onto the Pulse player now. He's put onto about 1 HP. Soapy drones him out, sees what's going on, throws a grenade in the window, but off camera, wow, Zed and Potato are going to get a kill. Poomzy and Adept go down. It's just up to Soapy and Rehi now, but oh no! Pulse will run out of library window and take Soapy out. Rehi grabbing a kill off camera, and well, hold on a minute. The Copper is now carrying the champ players at least in the first two rounds here on Chalet as Rihi picks up a second kill. And the C4 from Rise above on that window will take him out in the end. But a good try from the Clapper player nonetheless. The Emeralds now are going to be up 2-0. Oh, Soapy is going to get taken out. Troll Patrol able to take him out on the cap can and he's going for his second kill onto adept he wants both of these champs he's going to do a lot of damage onto rihi the copper player adept though throwing in a grenade and well that'll take out troll patrol no more Capkin for the orange team boomzy inside of west main right now he's got to be careful it's just a tachanka and a clash running at him but he'll grab the kill onto tachanka clash going to force him to fall back a little bit but his team is coming up to help him. Adept is here. He's going to be trying to take this clash out. Jack, though, has also pushed up into the dining room. So it's going to be a 2v2 fight here. Here comes a possible grenade from Adept. He's trying to bait this clash out right now. Boomzy going to rotate in the kitchen. Trying to swing in through dining right now. Realizes the clash pushed back. And he's going to throw a flash. But that'll do nothing but blind Adept. Rihi. Off camera has now rotated up through the bottom of West Main stairs, up through Blue stairs, and none of the Emerald players even know this. You can see there's no one prepared to stop this push right now, and it looks like we might see a kill from Rihi onto the Clash, who's just on his left right now. But the Cadellas go out, and Rihi is going to be trying to push into the site now. Frost on the head holes inside of Stock, though, will take out. The Ying player. And now Poomzy trying to run away from this clash. Rotating into the basement. Leaving Adept on his own in a 1v3 for the site at the moment. Poomzy not really sure where he wants to go. He seems very confused on where he needs to be pushing right now. It doesn't look like Adept is giving him any sort of you know, direction or anything right now is Poomzy's been wandering around trying to figure out what to do for a while and Adept decided to push into the site and he'll get punished for that. Poomzy will refrag and take Zed out, but now the copper player has to clutch a 1v3, now a 1v2. Clash still on the board, about 50 HP, but really doesn't matter. This shield is going to make the Clash basically invulnerable here. The shield goes away though, and now Poomzy trying to swing will actually take the clash out, and it's going to be a 1v1 scenario as Jack is inside of the bar room right now, trying to rotate into fireplace, swinging out on this melee hole, but the shots will miss as Poomzy has already rotated up, and oh no, Jack had no clue that Poomzy rotated up, and ladies and gentlemen, the copper players right now are actually carrying the youngest champ duo in this video that is unbelievable if you guys were expecting after the first map that the champs were going to carry and just do the exact same thing for the second map you were very wrong by the way if you made it this far in the video make sure you guys like the video and consider joining six shot academy with the link in the description that way you guys can come play ranked with me but anyways let's hop straight into the next round all right adept is going to rotate into the big garage right now and He's going to be in there very sneakily as we see a couple of the Emerald players respond outside of there. But Soapy off camera will grab the kill onto Troll Patrol. And that will even things out to a 4v4. But Ryze is already Amaru'd up through Solar. And the Amaru now is pushing in through Mezzanine. And we do see Fuse outside of K9 trying to help her as well. But Jack actually going to grab this kill onto Soapy again. One of the champs goes down. The Emeralds are looking primed to win this round here. Nades go out from Jack, but it will miss. As he goes for the Diffuser, Rihi will refrag, but Sergeant Potato -er above with the Cluster Charge will immediately refrag Rihi. Now Poomzy trying to stay alive inside of Snowmobile Garage. The Adept gets taken out by Zed. 
Sergeant Potato were pushing down the main stairs. Won't realize that Poomsie's actually in this corner. And the Fuse player goes down. 1v2. Now for our Copper player, Poomsie. He's inside a snowmobile. Trying to find the planter right now. That's Zed, who actually got off of the plant for some reason. Buying Poomsie some extra time. Now, Poomsie, hearing that the plant is going off, is going to rotate into connector. He does have one Azami in his pocket that he could use. But he's going to have to be careful about how he chooses to attack this. Head holes on the wall. A lot of damage onto both players with that swing there. Rise rotates in through connector. And he'll take out the Azami player. Taking a look at the scoreboard. Poomsie carrying. 6-3 right now. Soapy 1-4. Adept 2-4. Bro, like the video if you guys were not expecting this. All right, Soapy inside of Wine Cellar will do a lot of damage onto Sergeant Potato or on the zero. He's going to use his hard breach gadget to open up the Wine Cellar wall, though. But here come the Cadellas. But luckily for Soapy, he's on Warden and he'll be able to see through the flashbangs and take out Rise. But Zed will refrag, running into sight with the revolver. But Soapy's here to grab a kill. Rihi grabs one as well. Poomsie as well. A lot of kills coming out from the blue team now as only one player remains. For the emeralds troll patrol on the basement door here trying to get the han solo pistol kill onto soapy he'll hit one of the shots but can't quite land the other i didn't catch it either but adept was taken out in all of that action there so soapy's going to be our last champ a lot happened there in just pretty much under a minute now troll patrol going to be trying to push in through the breach here but soapy's there to watch it He's going to rotate back towards the desk as Troll Patrol rotates back towards the door here. And a back and forth between our champ player and this Emerald player as they're trying to find the gunfight. But it's not working for Troll Patrol whatsoever. But wow, he'll actually find that one tap onto Rihi. Impressive. The recoil will get away from him at the end though and Poomsie will take him out. And that will be the blue team surviving for yet another round. Honestly, with not much help from the champs. Oh, wow. Adept finally coming back. We'll grab the first kill of this round. And he's going for his second now as... Oh, Jack all the way out on that building out there. will get taken out. Adept is back. And he's going to be picking up two kills already to start this round out. But Rise, he'll throwing his Candelas in. Throwing the smoke grenades in as well. Going to be trying to plant inside of all the smoke. Adept cannot even hear it. But he's going to start spraying and he'll finally grab that kill before Rise is able to get that plant down. Rise is getting really close to it as well. But Soapy off camera will grab a kill to Zed. Troll Patrol refragging will take out Poomsie and Adept with the last kill onto Troll Patrol. Once again, a lot of action there in just a few seconds. But our champ players seem to be back. And with that, they will win another round, tying things up three to three. All right, grenades coming out from the canine back would do a lot of damage onto Adept and his as well as Troll Patrol on the big window, able to shoot him down to about 1 HP. We're also going to see someone rise, rotating over to the piano window potentially, so Adept's going to have to be worried about that, but Sergeant Potatoer will take out Poomsie, so one less copper player here for Adept and Soapy to work with, and Soapy's really leaving Adept on site alone right now as Rihi, well, I guess he's not alone, as Rihi's going to grab a kill on his Sergeant Potatoer refragging, no more Iana for the Emeralds and Rihi going to try to rotate in the bathroom now. Both of our site players are in a tough spot, but they're going to make it work as Adept grabs another kill. He's almost going to get the one onto Zed, but Zed will take him out. And now Soapy going to be trying to rotate up through the solar stairs, trying to flank. Rihi inside of site will get taken out by Zed. And now it's just up to Soapy. He's going to do a lot of damage onto Troll Patrol, who's going to swing, but... Zed or Soapy will take him out. Now it's all left to Jack and Zed. Zed going to be inside of sight right now in office, but he doesn't have the diffuser. Jack does. Soapy's going to run out, but the Claymore from Rise will instantly refrag him. And oh no, ladies and gentlemen, the Emeralds have match point. All right, Poomsie taking a lot of damage, trying to make it out of spawn right now as Sergeant Potatoer is... Pre-firing that cliffside spawn, trying to find a kill, but he's not quite going to be able to, just doing a lot of damage onto Poomsie for now. 
And it looks like Soapy and Adept are still in spawn. They're taking things slow. It is match point here. So they have a lot to lose if they lose this round. And oh no, as I say that Troll Patrol takes out Adept on the spawn peak. He's playing behind a shield inside a fireplace. What even is that? But now he's going to have to be careful as Rihi should be pushing behind him on the library side. Hoomzy wanting to push up onto the canine balcony. Cannot do so due to the clash. But Troll Patrol also trying to help out the Clash and stop them from taking the Canine Balcony. Jack inside of the corner of Office behind the Azamis once again. Soapy playing things slow, trying to find a kill still. Capkin going to be swinging. That's Troll Patrol going down as Soapy finds that kill through the front door. Boomzy still trying to find his way up through Canine Balcony. But Rihi through Library is finally going to be trying to distract the Clash and allowing Poomzi to possibly get up to the Canine Balcony. But Rihi taking loads of damage as Sergeant Potato is pushing up, trying to finish him off. C4 goes out from one of the defenders, but that will miss. And Sergeant Potato swinging from top mezzanine will take Rihi out. And now he's going to hear that the two other players on the blue team are pushing outside of this window. And they're going to be trying to rotate library side. Although we do have Zed inside of the library holding this window right now. And oh no, Soapy's there. He's going to get the headshot. The quick beat comes out. And now 2v3. Sergeant Potato are running up the fireplace stairs. Trying to find a kill onto one of the players in library. Soapy's going to swing. And here comes the wall bings. Shots are missing so far. But Soapy finally connects with the headshot. Now 2v2. Hoomzy is very lit, but if Soapy can somehow get everything off of the wall so that Poomzy can open it up, they will be able to take sight a little bit easier. But it actually looks like the sight wall is soft. So that is interesting. But Rise rotating back into sight is Clash. Soapy realizing he's not going to be able to push through that door. Rotates onto the sight wall, making a punch hole through it, trying to gain an angle into the sight. But with only 10 seconds left, he's going to be forced to push into the piano hallway now clash slowing him down significantly and jack rotating in desperately trying to find one of these kills but neither team will find the kill and ladies and gentlemen the emeralds will actually win on map number two <clears throat> All right, so if you guys enjoyed this video, consider liking. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Follow the champs with the links down below in the description. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.